So this is the other one. See? And the uh, component thing that's failed is down here. I think it's kind of black. Uh, where is it? A little black smouldering on the circuit board where it was uh, um, arcing. All these are okay, I know that. So I'm going to pull them. So that's all the amps pulled out. It was down there. Is that, is that component that's down here some of these are uh, like uh, and this bit clips over it um, I think it might be on the opposite side I think it might be on this side so it's down this side and down that side like I say you literally strip all that down take pictures you know video or such so be reassembled back in more or less the same water. Uh, but uh, even check the fuses. You know, when this thing was arcing or something, you know, the component was up this end and it was bang, bang, you know, shorting. So therefore it's just not going to send the, the, you know, the signal around the, uh, the amplifier. Um, there's a uh, fuse down here. I think there's even a couple of fuses more at the back. Uh, they were okay. The only fuses that were shorting, believe it or not, was the, the plug fuse. But no other fuses were blowing on the amplifier, which is kind of strange. So I'll slot these in. Okay. Bang. Oh, still doing the flashing light thing. Uh, down there, so it's obviously another relay in there. It's probably the red relay back there Let's give it a try Light stays on blue Yeah, I can see these sequence in the uh, They were blinking it's obviously not that much of the case of relays here, these relays. It's probably the red relay down there, or the two re, uh, white relays at the back. Okay. La -de -da. <laughs> um, what am I supposed to do? Uh, spare repairs. Sh literally strip down the other one, take out the components. Uh, this is going to take me hours to do. <laughs> So it literally take me hours. I'll try again. Yeah. Yeah, I see them. They're trying to receive a signal. So I can hear a big relay, I can hear it is definitely a relay down there because I hear a big clunky relay and he's got a bit of a more top end clicking on the relay. So it's a relay, it's a relay snag. Uh, I had a similar with an Alasius many years ago. Uh, my Alasius up there replace the uh the fear i mean the amplifier turned on but while, while it was turning on getting low frequency signals mostly it would make a kind of it made a strange sound and so i so i put the question around and someone uh, said yeah they know what it is they've it's been kind of many other owners have mentioned and it was turned out to be a relay And what I did was bought a new relay. Uh, wasn't too much of a big deal to 
strip it, that strip the amplifier down and we'll put a new relay on. I just feel like getting a hammer and banging it, you know. That's what that's what um that's what they did on Apollo, was it Apollo twelve? Colour T V or something. Didn't work very well. Yeah. And they kinda of hit it, started banging it with a hammer. Uh, eventually it worked and that's on that's gonna click off. Predictable. It's like if I get it on, if I can get it on, I'll put the lid back on, put everything on. Just when you think it was just gonna stay just when I think it was just gonna stay stable and stay on. The relay's got something to do with possibly maybe DSP. It's got some something to do and you know it's just too many too many parts components in this thing. Yeah, I mean uh, we go what around. Don't think it's gonna make a difference. Blue light stays on. When the blue light stays on at first, that's okay. But when it's blinking and blinking, that's going to click off again. <laughs> I could read this like a book. <laughs> oh, Ooh, now this might look promising. <laughs> Not. Let me see how everything... Let's get in a sequence. Yeah. And it's going to turn off. <laughs> I just had another feeling. Maybe I just click on, 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 click on. Oh, see how. I'll start worrying when it goes bang, bang, bang. Because if it does, uh, all the lights are going to go out in the kitchen. And I'll have to switch the uh, circuit breaker back on. <laughs> Oh, do you want to come down and fix this amplifier magic? Do some wavy magic tail. Maybe make it make it work. I just feel like getting something down there and just giving it a little. Um, I don't know. Just maybe disconnect the power. I need a non-metallic object. That could be a relay there by the looks of it as well. Mm. I'm try uh, replacing this part, swapping it over. Okay, swap that over. It's plugged in. Anything can happen. Uh, the only thing can happen is it go bang. Oh, it does the same thing. Wait. <laughs> so it's not that. <laughs> it's got to be these relays at the back. <laughs> what should I do? Whoa, what's going on there? Suddenly decided to turn back on. Wait. And I see the is the DSP light gonna flash on there? No no because it's not daylight. Oh, that's weird. So I'm wanted to turn back on, turn it off. See what goes on. Try again. So I like to be cautious. I don't like messing around with high-powered stuff. Okay, does it turn off? Wait. Huh. Yeah. Wait. Just going to wait, see what goes on. Uh, 
that is weird. Usually, um, if I had the other board, which is behind me up here, uh, <laughs> this thing wouldn't wouldn't just turn back on like that. But it's like it's on now. So this is some sort of relay commanding issue. Um, maybe it was partly that. I don't know, but I suspect maybe the relays uh, down here, where the, where the pen's pointing out there. As well as a relay there, and I think there's another one slightly over that direction. I get the light in there. It's very difficult. It's very difficult, but it's housed behind here, so it's just like you know, stripping out all the um, DSP boarding for the uh, Ethernet and oh, well, than that, that will that will power up and that will play. It's just it's just relay snagging. It's just relay snags. Um, I mean you. Leave comments on the Harm and Crown International Forum. And, you know, they're engineers. They're not very, like, um, you know, they don't respond now, do they? And you, know, you get other people that are probably maybe on par with them. That is, they are not connected or affiliated with bloody Harm and International. And they're, or maybe they're ex Harman. Um, but you get someone that comes in and sort of like leaves a comment and says, yeah, it's this, that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, try that and good luck. Um, but, you know, this, this, this still at the end of the day is a poorly designed amplifier. Um, a, a, uh, audio science review. This would get a headless panther. I don't care what the bloody specs are. Bloody, you know, signal noise ratio, slew, bloody hard, the harmonic distortion rates and all this jittering. This simply would get a headless panther. No if, no but, no debate, no vote. Headless panther. 